Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. Hey everyone, it's James. This mini-episode has Chris Hansen of Viking Jesus sharing some advice for aspiring musicians, as well as the perspective music veterans should take with regards to live shows. Please listen to the end, because I've included a track by Chris Hansen's left-hand band, Live at the Ocean Mist from back in February of 2009. The song is 1 in 7, and I hope you enjoy. Chris, I wanted to ask if there was a piece of music advice that you may have heard from a mentor or a, a, a bandmate, um, you know, another sound engineer um, that that kind of stuck with you over the years and, and you'd like to pass along to people now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I'm going to I'm going to give Bob Juicy credit for this one. He. Uh, one time, and I, I don't know where he heard it, but he told me uh, that not one performance will dictate your career. You know, okay. everybody has a bad night. Everybody makes a fool of themselves or, you know, but that's that should be the fuel to make you come back and, oh, okay. and do better. And the advice I would give is... Like you from know, your own experience? From my own experience, don't wait to do it. Okay. There, there, there's never going to be a right time. There's <laughs> never going to be, you know, the perfect moment, the perfect setting, the, uh, you know, well, if I wait for the, don't wait. Just, mm -hmm. if you have the gear, if you have the guitar, if you have, just start playing, start doing it, put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Don't wait. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't, there's not... You know, there's not a perfect wave. There's just waves. Take one and ride, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. it. I'd even just add, just like, even if you don't have that stuff, like, just start. Like, you, just you know, start. like, yeah. Um, and, and try to remove all of the other, like, reasons not to. Like, I mean, I say it a lot. Like, if it's film, if it's yeah. acting, just do it. Start yeah. making content. Yeah. Make content. Yeah. You know, that's the only way you're going to get better at the content. Exactly. Make yeah. it. Yeah. If you do it for a while and like, then you can invest in more stuff or you can, yeah. whatever it is. Collaborate like, with somebody, yeah. you know, make it happen. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can sit around and think about it and dream about it and, and just time is going to pass you by. Yeah. Get it done. Yeah. You know, I. Did the recording, like the, the weekly recording sessions help you in that way because that, that seems well, like it would kind of you know take away some of that it helped um, me like in the that, sense that i was thinking about it be like oh, i'm just this is what i'm doing thursday nights you know and, I'm, and, you i was know. getting content um what to do with that content i never really you know knew okay and i you know but you still have it i think to your point you know, i like, still have it like, and i'm gonna put it if out you didn't have those like thursday sessions it could have easily gone months or years or yeah. whatever and been like oh i haven't got back into the studio in such a long time but that that frequency at least you now have this you know? yeah and i'm gonna put it out it, and, and i'm putting it out for me i mean i'm yeah. 46 i don't i don't expect you know i if if some like nick drake thing should happen to me someday you know yeah. down the line that would be great but i don't expect it and i don't care and that's i think that's something like my whole reason for doing it changed you okay. know maybe halfway you like um you know you want it i want it to be you know a beetle you know, when I was a yeah. teenager and I thought like by my early twenties, I would, I would have some sort of, you know, luck. And mm -hmm. by the time I was in my thirties after like head blow up and, and recovery and all that, by the time I was in my thirties, I realized that, you know, there's more to music and there's more to the art than just being successful at it. I mm -hmm. mean, success is your what you, <laughs> you know, consider successful. So, yeah, you know, with that in mind, Make content. Have mm -hmm. fun. Don't do it because you want to be popular or you want to, you know, just do it because that's what you do. And if you're doing it because you want to be able, maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's yeah. something else, you know? Yeah. If, you, if you're if you a director, if you're a movie a writer, just make content. Yeah. 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 I agree with you fully. And I guess I've just been, you know, fortunate that I am 
a, a doer, you know, I have, a, yeah. I have a hard time not doing things. Like I need to actually be more aware of like slowing down to, but like, you know, I talk to people and I actually take it for granted at times of just being like, I'm kind of on that spectrum. Like, oh, it's a bad show or is this, you know, where it's a hassle to load my drums at times and all this kind of stuff, you know? Uh, but it's it like, can be. there's a lot of people that are just like, they've never, they've never put their guitar that's in their living room into a case and brought it to a venue and played a show, you know? True. So I need to be grateful for that instead of being like, oh, I got to put my guitar, you know, not that I even play guitar, but it's, you know, your your stuff's at a practice space or upstairs and you're like, oh, I got to pack this stuff up. I got to go play the thousand show. It's like, yeah, yeah no, for I, that stuff. You know? I so, love it. I love yeah. the repetition. <laughs> I love, cool. you know, even like going and doing sound at the end of the night, you break your shit down. Yeah. And then the next day you, you do it over, you know, you it, it back up? Yeah. and I've been doing this for 30 years. So it's yeah. like, it's good. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. It's nice to be able to do what you love. Yeah. And then, you know, kind of with that, like what inspires you and it can be like inspires your music or just inspires you uh, in life in general. Well, I almost died and I had a one in a million shot of living and, um, surviving that and waking up without like any serious hangups mm -hmm. or issues that was motivation enough yeah. for me to just, I wake up every day and I'm so glad that I'm alive and I'm positive. And of course, like, you know, life will, it's supposed to run you down and it's supposed to be miserable and certain. Mm -hmm. I believe this. And, um, you know, so that's my trick is to try to stay positive all yeah. day, every day as much as I can. Um, as far as like motivation too, um, other people's art, will motivate me like I'll, I'll go down some YouTube holes or I'll have you know if I write I like to have something on the background to kind of distract me so okay. I can get to the real like inner th thoughts my subconscious you know yep. and write out some stuff and I mean I've had I've had like Richard Pryor come in and, and like I hear him say something on TV and I'm like oh my god that's so profound and it, it goes He's into good. my song or you know what I mean uh -huh. so I get inspired I'll be watching and um a performance will come on TV and it will be so good that I'll be like, man, that makes me want to play my guitar. And mm -hmm. one time I was falling asleep and I heard a melody going through my head and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I was just about to ignore it. And I realized it was while my guitar gently weeps and I mm -hmm. got out of bed and I sat down and I wrote one of the coolest, like, you know, four car chord progressions that I'd ever written, you know, mm -hmm. it's like inspiration comes, you got to just hear it and you got to hit it, you know, yeah. and it's like baseball players don't shave their beards for a season. Cause they think it's like giving them the winning oh, yeah. streak. Yeah. That could be true. Yeah. You know, I mean, if this is like some matrix simulation or something, any of that can be like yeah. a, a cheat code or, you know, yeah. You know? A, you know, great quote is it's bad luck to not be superstitious, you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, no, that's on point, Chris. And, uh, yeah, thanks again. Thank uh, I you. I appreciate you sharing this. I appreciate you, brother. <laughs>